If you're a heat nursing technician or even a salesperson, what's super important about creating content that helps you, but some will look at it as a downfall? This is a fantastic question. I'm Scott Simon Bell, coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets. I'm coming to you live from Holly Eva, Oahu. Got to give you the, hey, what's up? How's it? Uh, so here's the thing. Uh, I look at my stats, and this is gonna make total sense to you here. I look at my stats because then I can determine, hey, like what kind of content should I be creating? How can I help salespeople? How can I help those out in the marketplace that consume my content? And so I look at the likes, I look at the thumbs up, I look at the thumbs down, I look at the length of the videos that are watched, and out of all the videos that I put up, the, the, the people who complain the most about my content are owners, right? And, and I will tell you, nine times out of 10, nine and a half times out of 10, most owners are freaking awesome. Most owners of companies are fantastic at what they do, they have the best intentions, and occasionally, you know, <laughs> they're like, yeah, that guy's Scott. And so, so much so that I had uh, an owner reach out to me about, I don't know, four or five months ago and said, you know, you need to take some of your videos down. And I said, no. And he says, I won't hire you. And I said, that's fine, because I wouldn't do business with you, right? So we kind of had this back and forth, and I'm going to leave names out of it. But the reason I bring this up is no matter what you do, no matter where you go, no matter how you perform, you're always going to have critics, you're always going to have cynics, and you're always going to have people who don't like you. And for me, it just happens to be every time that I talk about an owner or something that an owner does that could really frustrate you, I get the boo. I get the thumbs down. Which, you know, whatever. I'm not I'm not in it for the likes. <laughs> I'm not in it. I'm not in it. That's not why I create content. Like it doesn't it doesn't hurt my feelings and like I don't like wake up in the middle of the night going, gosh darn it, some business owner doesn't like me. And this right here is why you should join HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. So what does this have to do with you? It has to do with everything. There's gonna be a point where you're crushing it, you're closing deals, and you've got critics and cynics. And it could be the dudes and the chicks that you work with, or it could be the dudes and the chicks that you sell against. And they're gonna say nothing but bad things about you. There's gonna be a point where your name gets known and people are like, oh, that dude, that chick, they're a liar, cheater, and fraud. If you let this stuff get to you, it, it, it is one of those things where it'll pull you off your mission and purpose. It will mess with your mental toughness and sales, right? So like, is it pulling me off from creating content? No, I actually make videos about it and like, what are you gonna do? Give me a thumbs down on this video too? Fantastic, what do I care? I'll create another 500 videos, right? So like the, the attitude that really helps to have is like, all right, one person out of a million doesn't like me. Two people out of a million don't like me. But you know what? There's like 700 people out of a million that absolutely love me. Or there's like 100,000 people out of 10 million that love me. So if you get caught up in this little tiny number of your haters, you're, you get dragged off mission and purpose. You get dragged away from everything that you're doing. And it's one of those things where you're like, you're on a steady course and your income's like, like you're like, man, my income's going up. You want something that's gonna take you off mission and purpose really fast? Worry about what other people say about you. Now, I will give you a caveat, right? If I'm in harm's way, if I'm in danger, if if something is going to hurt me and somebody I love or care about goes, time out, Scott, time out, we gotta talk about this situation, or time out, Scott, we gotta talk about this issue. That's completely different than a rando stranger that doesn't like a video that I created for the interwebs, okay? Heads up. You're good at what you do. People are gonna call you a liar, a cheater, and a fraud. Just freaking celebrate it, right? Go go get a trophy made that says, some people hate me, but get a really big one made that says, a lot of people freaking love me, right? Some people hate me, a lot of people love me. That's the way that I deal with this. This is the way that I look at it. You want a good laugh? Take that trophy, go stand somewhere, and take your acceptance award for the people that love you. For the people that don't like you, you take that award, and you go throw it in the trash. I'm pointing at a trash can, by the way, right? Like, yeah, there's a trash can right here at the park. So uh, here's the thing. Haters, critics, cynics, they're gonna talk their trash, and whatever you did, if you did something wrong, it'll be 10 times worse. They're gonna say 10 times worse than what you did, right? You littered at the park, they're gonna say that you burned down the park. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you sped, uh, they're gonna say that you jumped the car like it was like it was some uh, uh, evil Knievel jumping over a canyon. Just realize, the people that love you are the ones that really matter. The people who don't care for you, make fun of them, right? 
That's about the only thing that you got left that you can do or just ignore them. But this video dedicated to my haters, right? Hey, my name's Scott. I'd like to thank God. Give good acceptance. You know, my mom loves me. That's what matters. My brothers and sisters love me. That's what matters. I've got some really good friends. My haters, keep hating. <laughs> Go get your big old drink of Haterade and get your blue hate special as you drive right away in a Lincoln Navigator. What do I care? I don't, but what matters to you is that you stay on your mission and purpose. You keep your mental toughness and sales going. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. And I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the, like the boo. Boo, Scott says some mean stuff. Bald man bad, right? You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button. Click on it every time I send out a video. You, my friend, will get an update. Two, hit follow. Three, you know what you got to do. Share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Aloha, mahalo.